Senate advisor of EU Parliament confirming that the invasion has begun. Breaking, Ukraine closed airspace nationwide, citing potential hazard. And now Alexandra Krause, the senior advisor of the EU Parliament, is saying Russia is invading Ukraine. However, I don't know. I don't know. Again, we don't know. This person might literally be retweeting, okay? Or it could be happening. I'm just letting you know. Be calm. Be cool. Wait for further evidence. Wait for further information. In the hours to come, hashtag Russia will conduct strikes on air defense systems. Move the cutoff Kiev from eastern Ukraine. Move the cutoff Ukraine's military force on the line of contact in the east to prevent them from falling back to defend Kiev. The Ukrainian government websites are down following a series of cyber attacks, which we know has been happening all day. I, this might even be a reposted article and not a new one for the record, but it, it is on breaking news. So I guess there's more government websites that have been hit by cyber attacks. I want to point out one more time, even if it's currently happening and if it's currently occurring, it's best to wait. There's a UN Security Council. Uh, there's a UN Security Council that's going to occur right now. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said on Wednesday night, reiterated the U.S. warnings about potential Russian false flags that Moscow could use to justify an invasion. Beware of the following Kremlin disinformation campaigns that seek to justify military action. No evidence supports of any of these false claims. Uh, Ukraine is not committing genocide. Ukraine is not attacking Donetsk or Luhansk. Ukraine is not conducting terrorist attacks. Uh, don't say Pepela State Department. If we're being fucking real, okay, fuck Ned Price and fuck the State Department. But like Ukraine literally fucking attacking Russia uh, it would be the worst thing them to do just like i've said uh just like I, I i said that like russia invading kiev and like bombing kiev is fucking psychotic ukraine ukraine fucking pushing back against uh russia at a time when like there are more fucking russian troops at its borders than ever before would be the absolute dumbest time but as of now yes uh ukrainian airspace is now closed for all civilian traffic uh, all right, the UN, the United Nations Security Council, uh, eight thousand nine hundred seventy-fourth meeting is now uh, underway. It's about to start. In between, during the day, a number of events took place, and uh, with your permission, Mr. President. Kind of awkward to have the I Russian like to fucking a guy Pablo just sitting right there. To be able to brief you on those events, but simultaneously. The day was full of rumors and indications that uh, of an offensive against uh, the Ukraine was imminent. In the recent past, there were several situations with similar indications, similar rumors. And I never believed in them, convinced that nothing serious would happen. I was wrong. And I would like not to be wrong. Red tubers be like, ah, oh, take the L, take the L, take the L, you so, were wrong. If indeed an operation is being prepared, I have only one thing to say from the bottom of my heart. President Putin, stop your troops from attacking the Ukraine. Give peace a chance. Too many people have already died. He's doing what you Mr. did? Mr. I mean, Mr. yeah. I mean, it's fucking Mr. madness. President. It's insane. Terrorist he did exactly what I did. <laughs> Sorry. Putin has an emergency speech? So okay, fuck front. this. Let me hear what they the fuck uh, Putin is saying. Putin is fucking co-streaming the UN Security Council. He, he didn't want UN Security Council getting all the views. Dog, this is Russian, bro. Give me a fucking... Give me a fucking English one, dude. Motherfuckers be like, oh, Putin's speaking. Here you go. Oh, Kogdila, Kogdibezavut. Okay, Davai, Davai, dude. Dude, how am I going to fucking understand what he's saying, dude? I don't speak Russian. Orger, he's saying that any attack on Russia will result in their complete destruction, generally flexing about Russian military tech. Is he saying that, like, the shelling was real and that, like, Russian positions have been shelled? Uh, or what is he saying? We are here tonight. There's something so fucking unsettling and so weird about, like, if the invasion is occurring right now and there's, like, active fucking firefights happening uh, between Ukrainian troops and Russian troops right now. They're just fucking sitting around circle jerking. Like, it, it's, a, it's a very strange thing to, to watch in real time. And, I mean, they just have nothing, dude. And send your diplomats to the negotiating table. Back away from the brink before it is too late. Dude, what do you mean? It's Last already too late. Week, it's late. It happened. It's happening. If it's happening right now, it's happening. It it's too late. Sure. The fuck is this like, hey, stop it. Like, it, they literally, dude, you know what's beautiful about, like, the diplomats of the world? They did what I did. For some fucking weird reason, their goal and their solution was to do exactly what I did as a joke, like, fucking back in December when you guys were like, yo, tell Vladimir Putin not to invade Ukraine. And I was like, 
Put them in Putin. Stop it. They're doing exactly that. Dangerous Weren't you defending exciting. diplomacy like two days ago? This isn't diplomacy. This is just posturing, dude. This is dummy posturing. Diplomacy is not being like, Vladimir Putin, I'm finger wagging against you right now. It's not cool. Please stop it. This is just like, this is circle jerking, dude. Actually, what you're supposed to fucking do if you want to do real diplomacy is like, put together a fucking committee. Have every leader in the room with, you know, an actual, not like a fucking delegate. Like, have, you know, high level uh, authority figures like the Russian Blinken meeting that was supposed to happen this week. He just declared war. Oh, no. Putin, Russia cannot feel secure with the threat of from Ukraine. We have no other choice but to use the means we are about to announce. I have declared a special military operation. He's basically declaring war on Ukraine, demilitarification and denazification of Ukraine as a goal, not occupation, according to Putin. So literally what I fucking said earlier this morning, which is uh, 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 taking over, overtaking. I mean, I don't know if any of the chatters have the fucking clip, but overtaking uh, the the uh, rest of the Donbass region, uh, DNR and LNR specifically, uh, overtaking it from the Ukrainian occupied uh, forces, uh, which means like there will be active war between uh, the Ukrainian National Guard and Russian troops, which has probably started at this point. You no, know, he said he wants regime change in Ukraine, which would not be limited to Donbass if he wants to achieve that. Putin said if the Ukrainian army leaves the front line, now no one's going to stop them. Looks like it's still only targeted the Donbass region. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what the fuck happens. Uh, it says special operation into Donbass, which is what my uh, expectation was. But at this point, I don't even fucking know, okay? This is appeasement. Ukraine is losing their sovereignty. This shouldn't happen today, yesterday, or ever again. No, this is worse than appeasement because they did not approach this in any meaningful diplomatic capacity. That's the problem. They didn't actually fucking get to the table. The United States State Department did not actually get to the fucking table, have a conversation. They did not do that. Don't say they did. It's still Russia's fault, but they didn't even try appeasement. Obviously, it's still Russia's fault, like I've said, going in and and further taking territory but having said that like i mentioned the only diplomatic efforts that were put together were by macron independently by the german chancellor independently never together never like a conversation with minsk too and certainly not from the american side russia denied talks to everybody while the whole u.n address specifically putin dude having a u.n security council get together and wag their fucking fingers is not what i'm talking about dummy what the fuck do you mean Everyone has said, don't fucking invade Ukraine. I said, don't invade Ukraine. That's the same energy as like this conversation. Stop it. That's not what we're talking about. Exhausting every diplomatic option leading up to this is the one way to legitimately do this. We did not do that. That did not happen. To anyone who would consider interfering from the outside, if you do, you will face consequences greater than any you have ever faced in history. All relevant decisions have been taken. I hope you hear me. Only the readiness to fight is enough to support our sovereignty. Drawing a series of parallels, Chechnya, Crimea, Syria, Donbass, we simply haven't been given another option to defend our people other than the one we are forced to use today. People's Republic of Donbass has asked for our help. I have decided to launch a special military operation. Uh, we will seek to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. I do not. In, we do not intend to occupy Ukraine. Our policy is based on freedom, freedom of choice of all people to choose their own course. To Ukrainians, Crimeans, and Donbassians decided in 2014 to return to their historical motherland. We could not do nothing. We could do nothing but support them. We have no choice but to defend them against the threats they face. The threats they face have been ongoing okay the difference in this situation is like it's bullshit uh, i mean the 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 idea that there would be an escalation right now literally right fucking now with 200,000 troops uh on ukrainian borders is psychotic i'm sorry i do not believe that i do not believe that like the ukrainian government decided to actually take action waited until there was 150,000 fucking troops at its borders with the entire world looking at fucking uh ukraine that's when they decided to do it when uh, during their fucking annual military training at their border where they're doing war games like i don't think that that's when ukraine decided to escalate tensions i think it's bullshit adopted american interventionist language oh yeah this is like by the way the interesting parallels exist within the way that uh russia and the way that even uh chinese uh leaders speak about actions that they take against like you know domestic policy actions they take against like muslims actions they take against uh other countries this kind of language like we're liberating our people we're saving our people from oppressive forces is 
uh, the type of language that America uses regularly, like we are a democratizing imperialist force. Remember how I talked about uh, how American like brain rot is exported? It's like our most significant cultural export is brain rot. We have made the entire planet more American and worse as a consequence of this. The, the civilizing colonialist is a very old trope. It's not a new one. The Imperial forces are simply not destructive, but they're actually a civilizing force against these barbarians, right? That's like a normal old school thing, but America does it regularly. They use like liberal values as to why they're doing uh, imperialism now. And that is precisely what is going on here as well, where they're like, hey, we got to denazify Ukraine. Are there Nazis in the fucking National Guard? Absolutely. Does it justify all out full scale fucking boots on the ground, military warfare, explosions, and, and uh, potential fucking air, I mean, potential fucking uh, uh, airplanes dropping bombs on civilian territory? Absolutely not. It's not. This is a, this is unjustifiable. This is horrible. Seems like airstrikes on Ukrainian territory has begun. Putin just declared war on Ukraine, announcing a social military operation, breaking massive explosions just now in Kramar Kramatorsk, at least for very big. What the fuck? Missiles in air? Like straight up missiles? Are they showing actual fucking missiles? Live stream of the rockets being launched? Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit. Yup. <sighs> how are we watching a war live stream? Uh, welcome to 2022. This is how it fucking works. CNN is claiming that there are bombs in Kiev? Explosions in Kiev according to what? Holy shit. Reporting live on CNN now that he's hearing explosions in Kiev, unclear what they are. Oh my god. Kramatorsk is in the northwest of Donetsk. Seems like Putin wants to occupy the whole region. I mean, if they're fucking blowing bombs in Kiev, it's 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 done. Like, it's they're doing the entire... My colleague, MCN CNN, who's reporting live from Kiev, just jumped up in the middle of the speaking uh, on air because he heard explosions behind him. He said tonight is the first time he's heard these kinds of noises. CNN crew is putting on body armor. I mean, yeah, if the fucking bombs are blowing up behind them. I mean, I don't know if the fucking body armor is going to help him. Heard that, that he is safe. Um, I think we should stick with this just to see what's happening as he is doing this. Bro, this is we'll crazy that, like, that's where... I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but... There's blast near Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. That was what we were looking at, right? What we were actually seeing was fucking bombing happening in Kharkiv. Is it possible this is, like, fake shit? No, dude, this doesn't look fucking fake at all. This is, like, literally happening at this moment right in front of our fucking eyes. I mean, I don't think they're shelling Kiev. That would be fucking psychotic. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they are fucking psychotic. At most, I thought it'd be a fucking special operations in like the larger Donbass territories. Here is live on CNN air. Matthew Chance hearing a loud explosion coming in. Resist. Oh, I tell you what, I just heard a big bang right here behind me. I told you we shouldn't have done the live shot here. <laughs> there are big explosions Crazy. taking place in Kiev right now. The threat or use of force against the territorial integrity, sovereignty, and political independence of a UN member state is unacceptable. What a Stances. weird situation to watch the like actual shelling and bombing occurring in fucking Nations Ukraine for the while these dudes are like having a formal conversation, a formal discussion about, the exercise of you know, finger wagging against Vladimir Putin. Obviously, the last time you motherfuckers did this, it didn't work. Negotiation or nothing. Like there's no, the, the, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the, the formalities are, I guess, something that you have to do. In Holy Kiev fuck. City, just a few minutes ago. Simple, and, the CSGO player, already, the fucking legendary CSGO player, his city is being fucking shelled. Holy fucking shit. Odessa reports explosions downtown believed to be a munitions facility. So what, they're like targeting all of the uh, strategic positions inside of uh, civilian territory? Map of some of the Ukrainian, uh, Russian attacks being reported across Ukraine. So these are all the what, like, uh, uh, I guess military positions, I assume? God damn it. Holy shit. That's crazy. This word genocide, he's used it time and time again. This is about appealing to his people to say to them, this is not an offensive war, this is a defensive war. We are saving people in the Donbass. And he's warned off uh, other foreign elements. He's saying to the rest of the world, don't come anywhere near us because we are in the process of saving the people of Eastern uh, Ukraine. They yeah, know, defensive uh, fucking defensive war, dude, to totally. Is actually this is not defensive in any meaningful capacity, chatters, okay? Straight the fuck up. Nothing about this is defensive. This is offensive. This isn't even like, this isn't even like aggressively posturing. This isn't like fucking putting boots inside of Donbass. This isn't recognizing 
the territorial integrity of of uh you know uh russian regions uh that russian separatists have fucking carved out this is absolutely full-scale fucking invasion uh yeah this is kyle rittenhousing uh donbass or, or not donbass sorry ukraine Biden released a statement. President Putin has chosen a premeditated war that will bring a catastrophic loss of life and human suffering. Russia alone is responsible for the death and destruction this attack will bring. The praise of the entire world over the people of Ukraine tonight as they suffer an unprovoked and unjustified attack. Motherfucker said uh, uh, thoughts and prayers. Biden thoughts and prayers, uh, Ukraine, uh, boys. Okay, that's it. We're good. We're good now. It's good. No World War III. I'll be monitoring the situation for the White House this evening and we'll continue. Oh, dude, it's way past his bedtime. There's no shot. There's no fucking shot he monitors anything, dude. He's in his pajamas right now. He's like 700 years old. Russian Spetsnaz at Kiev Airport Turkish cargo Vladimir planes Putin. are in the same airport? Uh, Marco Rubio believes it's actually Spetsnaz, but how the fuck do we know? Russia is now working on establishing air superiority via targeted surgical strikes, a pincer movement to trap Ukrainian force in the east and cut them off from Kiev, finally attempt to, de finally attempt to decapitate Ukrainian government by targeting government buildings. Meanwhile, the UN Security All Council is still going. We recall once again that Russia, a few days ago, in this very chamber, before the international community, made an emphatic declaration that it would not invade Ukraine. Yeah, that was a fucking lie, dude. Bro, no shot that's real. Breaking Russian VDV forces confirmed in control of Kiev's airport. Oh my fucking god. Dude, how the fuck did they take over like everything in Ukraine in literally a second, by the way? Faster than it took the Taliban to retake Afghanistan. America gave up Afghanistan to the Taliban and it, they couldn't fucking take over an entire uh, uh, country with like built military this fast. I know I made fun of, like, people talking about fucking Hearts of Iron shit, but, like, this is literally Blitzkrieg Hearts of Iron shit. I mean, it, what the fuck? Oh, is the Russian rep talking? At the, oh, let's hear what the fuck he Heating has to say. The, it is no surprise that the increasing suffering of those living in the Donbass does not seem to affect our Western colleagues. Through the whole day of debate today at the General Assembly, you haven't been able to find one word of compassion or condolences. It is as if these four million people for you simply don't exist i mean dude come on bro like that's bullshit i mean like states, yes there is ongoing conflict and ongoing war and a lot of fucking which, russians have died uh, there but like jesus christ are you are you today. serious Lord motherfucker you can't take over kiev and the kiev airport and be like oh man we're defending donbass in insanity absolute fucking insanity dude rights. oh shit ukraine is speaking now this guy i mean dude his entire country is on oh, fire. Bro, the amount of people that are rushing to be like, your tweet did not fucking age well when I said this is the hill I will die on, even though I already have like fucking apologized and said I was wrong, is absolutely fucking insane and shows one more, once again, that 90% of the fucking internet exclusively cares about L's and W's on the internet the and not anything about like the fucking safety Charter. and lives of uh, Ukrainian and people. in the judgment by a decision Holy of fuck. the General Assembly upon the... Biden confirmed by U Ukrainian General officials at Kiev Airport. I was intending to ask the Russian ambassador to confirm on the record... Yes, Russia officially declared war earlier today. ...that the Russian troops today. will not start firing at Ukrainians today and go ahead with the offensive. It became useless 48 minutes ago. Because about 48 minutes ago, your president declared the war on Ukraine. So now I would like to ask the ambassador of the Russian Federation to say on the record that at this very moment, your troops do not shell and bomb Ukrainian cities, that your troops do not move in the territory of Ukraine. You have a smartphone, you can call Lavrov right now. If you are not in a position to give an affirmative answer, the Russian Federation ought to relinquish responsibilities of the president of the Security Council. And I ask the members of Security Council to convene an emergency meeting immediately and consider all necessary draft decisions to stop the war. Because it's too late, my dear colleagues, to speak about de-escalation, too late. The Russian president declared the war on the record. Should I play the video of your president? Ambassador, shall I do that right now? Or you can confirm it? Do not interrupt me, please, thank you. Then don't ask me questions when you are speaking. Proceed with your statement. Anyway, you declare the war. It is the responsibility of this body to stop the war. So I call on every one of you to do everything possible to stop the war. Waking up. What the fuck's Mr. going on? And this isn't called a war. This is called a special military operation in the Donbass. I now give the floor to the representative of Germany. 
Imagine being like, hey, uh, I know we're bombing your fucking capital and like all of your big cities, but it's not a war. You think if the Ukrainian guy uh, fights the Russian guy, that means they have to let go? They have to, you know, it's like trial by combat. In my remarks tonight, I said that we predicted Russia's false flag attacks. The misinformation. The Bro, America's literally like, they're they're doing a fucking W tour. They're like, yo, we're going to predict the misinformation of false flag. Like, dude, okay, solve it. Solve the problem. Security what the fuck are they going to do? Are they going to go in? Are they going to fucking fight it back? Are they going to like actually fly uh, last planes into Ukraine? Are they going to the send in the 6,000 troops at the fucking border of Ukraine? Non-believers like you. Was on. It doesn't council. matter. It doesn't matter that they got this one this fucking, it, it, it got this, they got this one, the okay? At this point, if you are in a position of fucking fucking power you had every opportunity to fucking exhaust this exhaust diplomacy instead of fucking endlessly being like this is a war that's gonna happen this is a war that's gonna happen okay then fucking try to solve it they're doing ego shit dude it's like you're not a fucking gray name on my twitch chat you're not like a fucking weirdo anime avatar uh, on, on twitter being like dude you were so wrong and i was so right who cares and the general in the general assembly which doesn't have the ability to actually do things but it can say things it will condemn it will vote to condemn russia able bro to they literally fucking took the l on the sanctions they were like fuck it yolo membership. sanction me tens of thousands of ukrainians will be killed military and civilian thousands of russians will be killed military they will go back your reporter in moscow raised the right question do the Russian people really support this massive invasion? They don't. I doubt it. In particular they don't. There's literal polling data on it. They do not. This is incredibly fucking unpopular. They straight up do not. There is so very likely that along with like 11 other fucking reasons as to why this was so hyper unlikely uh, and an ongoing like active fucking war, potential counterinsurgency that they have to deal with. All of this made it so incredibly unlikely. It is a complete psychopathic fucking uh, action that they did. Putin has launched a full scale invasion of Ukraine. Peaceful Ukrainian cities are under strikes. This is a war of aggression. Ukraine will defend itself and will the world can and must stop Putin. The time to act is now. I mean, they're not going to. What the fuck is the world going to do? It's a nuclear power. It's fucking People, insane that they're doing this the bro know? like america did this with fucking iraq but even america would not do this with mexico okay like ukraine is still a developed nation ukraine is still a nation with like uh, it ties to fucking european nations okay ukraine is literally a a neighboring nation of russia this is fucking completely insane like america rolls over developing nations on a daily basis and it's over fucking seas and uh you know and it's disgusting but there's a white supremacist attitude that a lot of people have towards that kind of conquest in the third world this is like i don't even know how to describe it like I, it's, just, it's absolutely in insane Spots. We so can post it. Let's said, go. go <laughs> what the fuck? The and Russia Bro, seems to Trump what is he here, doing? So uh, Ukrainian officials are now saying that the Russian troops are crossing the border towards Kharkiv. That's that's uh, that's where we're at now. Paratroopers are assaulting the Kiev airport. Holy fucking shit! More booms in the distance. Reports that Russian paratroopers are assaulting Kiev airport. There's anti-air weaponry. Have has a shot been fired from the fucking Ukrainian side? Like I don't even understand. Uh, they they just not even defending themselves. Like what the fuck's happening? I mean, I guess they have to be fighting back in, to some degree, but what can you really fucking do? Cruise missiles, cruise and ballistic missile strikes are targeting control centers in Kiev reports. Ukraine Operational Command. Oh, also, uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump went on Laura Ingram. Um, we've heard a lot over the last uh, year, um, just since Biden became president, of the rules-based international order. And the rules-based international order would keep the, you know, the emerging nations in the world and those that, that were developed together to, to avoid unnecessary chaos. How are the rules-based international order folks thinking tonight, do you think? Bro, what the fuck? Okay, first of all, Glenn, much like myself, took a fucking L on how insane uh, Russia was going to behave. I'm not going on Fox News anytime soon, regardless. They're not exactly big fans of myself, but if there's one person who was also wrong uh, on how aggressive Russia was going to be and what the fuck they were going to do, it's, it's Glenn Greenwald. Your regular reminder that the U.S. isn't the only country with imperialist ambitions. Dude, you're talking to someone who already understands, recognizes, and has been talking about this for months. Your only comprehension of the situation at hand is from other fucking YouTubers who have like written essays or some shit or uh, your favorite uh, person has told you that I was like wrong or whatever. If you ever watched any of my fucking videos or any of my streams, you would already know. Not only did I admit that I was wrong, 
but also uh, routinely mentioned that uh, it's still completely fucking unacceptable and completely unreasonable. It's reasonable for Ukrainians to be afraid of Russia, and it's completely unreasonable since day one for Russia to do anything, uh, for, for Russia to go in to Ukraine. And I also apologize for it. I'm not the center of the conversation, okay? If you try to make me the center of the conversation here, you're a fucking idiot. Ukraine is being bombed right now. It's a country with 44 million people. The, 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 the territorial sovereign power in its fucking backyard has decided to roll over them. Absolutely disastrous. Absolutely awful and disastrous fucking uh, uh, situation at hand here. Well, they, they, they have certainly been well aware of the warnings from the United States and, and its European partners, Andrew. They, they, they know what, what the, the, the dire warnings have sort of built up and up. And, and although there's really been no outward sign of, of panic here, uh, we know that, that in more recent days... In, yeah, in, in, in talking the other thing people, is, like, it, it's, it's, not even, it's not even just myself. It's like Ukrainians and in the Ukrainian made. leadership didn't even Ukraine. think that this was going to happen. It was fucking shop, insane. Uh, in, uh, we've also heard of, of Ukrainians taking up arms in, in preparation to, to fight the Russians, should it come to that. There's a good sense of patriotism here. It's a country of 40 million people. And, going and they forward, are not this going is going to, go to be uh, a fight, as President this is going Zelensky to be insane. said. The, I mean, this the is people I don't even know what the fuck is going to happen tomorrow. Earlier today, we talked about potentially increasing escalation really and overtaking uh, the rest of the Donbass region and potentially moving on to another separate strategic territory inside of Ukrainian borders in an effort to, like, neutralize the Donbass region. They've moved uh, way beyond that. The, the They're overtaking the, the Kiev airport, as, as you, like bombing strategic locations, country, Odessa, even, uh, all these different parts of uh, Ukraine be being bombed at the President same fucking time is way beyond what is even remotely acceptable, uh, way beyond anything that anyone uh, who was sane would have expected, including fucking the Ukrainian president earlier today. And how much could tonight's attack further rock the financial markets? Well, if there's one thing the stock market doesn't yeah, like, Yeah, what are we going to do about the stocks, boys? I can't worry for fucking liberals to be like, Putin did this so we, Donald Trump could win the election again or some shit. Well, I think the timing, uh, there's a lot of factors on the timing. Uh, historically and typically, military operations, we like to initiate them under the cover of darkness. The advantage goes to the attacker. It disrupts people's circadian rhythm. Um, it's disruptive to people's sleep cycles, the Ukrainian military pe people's sleep cycles. Oh, wow. Well, thanks, man. We like to attack at night time because well, it's dark look, and it's I, I harder to see. To, what he said, as you was, all know, when the sun goes down, it's dark and your eyesight is not as good. This is why we like to attack in the dark. Kind of it's sleepy back, time. Now, I want to play you a dramatic moment end of the UN Security Council meeting that just wrapped. It was a Ukrainian ambassador addressing his Russian counterpart. Take a listen. There is no purgatory for war criminals. They go straight to hell, Ambassador. He's absolutely right. This is okay, a war bro. <laughs> bro, you're talking to the American ambassador, dog. If they, I mean, he's a war criminal too. <laughs> the assistance that now the Ukrainian military needs more than ever. The Ukrainian military is on its own. There are no NATO forces there to help them, to fight with them. To lock, lock, Bro, what is 6,000 NATO Andes going to do? Uh, so, so they need support. They need equipment. They need ammunition. This is so bitch-made. <laughs> Russians are already actively shelling, like, strategic positions inside of Ukraine. They have boots on the ground, and this guy's like, oh, we're going to give him guns. We'll give him more guns. Dude, they have guns, bro. They have guns. There is literally nothing you can do in this situation. Either you go to all-out war, which is impossible because Russia is a nuclear power, and that would mean nuclear holocaust, or you have to fucking suck it the fuck up and get to the table with them and come to, agree come to an agreement. But then again, I don't even fucking know. Or you just keep pumping Ukraine full of guns, you keep pumping them full of guns, and then you give these, like, sanctions off to Russia with the hopes that it actually hurts them. You try to cut them off from their strategic partners, depending on whether or not, however that fucking Chinese relationship went with Xi Jinping before this entire thing unfolded. Because that could mean, uh, you know, they get at least some kind of material support from a superpower. I'm not being militarist. I don't want full-scale war. I don't want that at all. I've never wanted that, and I still don't want that. But this conflict does not get resolved without talking to Russia, without having Ukraine and Russia at the table and having a fucking conversation and trying to put together an agreement that is going to be incredibly favorable to Russia. But considering that we're not going to do that, because obviously 
We would never do that. Don't be fucking crazy. Um, you know, that that would mean taking a fucking L on the global scale. And uh, that would be a significant problem for America's hegemonic power status. Then what you have to do is, uh, or what America will probably end up doing, is just keep fucking funneling guns into Ukraine and uh, let them fend for themselves, ultimately crippling Russia and also destroying Ukraine. Afghanistan 2.0. Afghanistan 2 electric boogaloo, but this time in Russia's doorstep. Buy from Kiev? Holy fuck. Wait, is that a fucking... Is that like a commercial building? Hold up. What the fuck, dude? Look at this. They really made an edit out of this? Wait, edit out of what? What? We need to send Zoomers to war. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I mean, look, I know a lot of you are watching right now. A lot of you Zoomers are watching, but like, you need to go to war, bro. I am, I am officially changing my anti-war stance. I am pro-war now. I think we need to fucking, I need to, need to send some of you motherfuckers to, to do some warring, okay? Uh, this is crazy. If you're on TikTok, you go to war, okay? If you've ever, ever talked about any kind of fucking, uh, like, oh, this is appeasement, Vladimir Putin's like Hitler, which, by the way, Vladimir Putin is bad. Look at the sign. Actually, sorry, uh, I forgot we elevated that to Vladimir Putin is very bad. From bad to very bad. Look at the sign. Then you have to go to war. You have to go do dance-offs on TikTok with Russians in war. Smoke rises in Kharkiv, the northeastern city of Ukraine. Next, no in terms of the shot schedule, is this real. No shot Israel is blocking U.S. transfer of Iron Dome missiles defense systems to Ukraine. Oh my God, I did not fucking see this. Oh my Lord. I, I mean, Israel is aligned with Russia. System is jointly developed by U.S. and Israel, so Israel has every right to block, but it's a fully defensive system. Feels like a bigger story than Germany blocking Estonia, sending German-made weapons to Ukraine. I go back and forth between covering the market impact because market impact is still significant because that's the way that you're going to actually cripple Russia. You know what I mean? After this point, it, it'll turn into a war of attrition. Who else can fucking stand? Uh, uh, like, will Europe be able to fucking... <clears throat> will Europe not cave uh, because of their over-reliance on... Uh, because of their over-reliance on, on Russian... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, on Russia for uh, their energy. That's going to be a big problem. Uh, it's a bet that I assume uh, Vladimir Putin is making as well. You I cripple EU, yes, I will. I think one of the craziest got... things is like, look at Kiev. Like, it almost feels like the city is still, you know, they're just chilling. Like, shit blew the fuck up. I mean, I, I get the, I guess the the Kiev airport is like kind of far out from the main, uh, from the main part of the city. But it's kind of crazy that they're just like literally chilling. Like, motherfuckers are going back to work and shit. Like, Avoid can you imagine do... being a fucking wage cuck working at like the Kiev McDonald? And you have to like drive your little Vespa to work. Bombs fucking blew up. It's martial law and you're just fucking wage cucking. Who's going to walk in, dude? What are you going to order a McDouble? It's crazy. I'm just saying it's like at least there's one day that you would, you know, you take off fucking work. Ambassador, are you able to shed some light on this denazification stuff and why? Why Vladimir Putin thinks that would be useful to talk about and who is susceptible to it? Because I remember in 2014, there was also an effort to undermine the opposition to the then pro-Russian government by saying that they're anti-Semites and they're, they're Nazis. What, what's the provenance of this, this discussion? Well, you're absolutely right. That's when he started using the phrase Nazis supported by NATO, right? The two N-words, as we call them back in 2014 what and there is you know what to remember, what? i'm sorry what? what did you call them <laughs> what? and the nazi leader allegedly is this guy zelensky and i want to remind everybody zelensky's first language was russian i, I you know we had a long mm -hmm. he's gonna say zelensky's jewish which he is and he's not talking zelensky is not a fucking nazi okay zelensky is not a fucking nazi at all he's just, he's a lib like he's just like a centrist neoliberal guy under the guise of protecting uh, germans in poland uh hitler invaded and and that started world war ii it did and by the way two weeks later moscow invaded poland too people need to remember that small fact about uh 1939 that, that bro that i love i love american uh, I, I americans think, dude it's I, like gonna, they gotta take to one shot at the fucking uh they gotta take a shot at the ussr anytime oh what's this about dude in the 24 hours after putin recognized two breakaway ukrainian republics the u.s and its allies bought 700 million in russian oil gas commodities um do you want to know what this is about it's about gearing up for the ongoing fucking sanctions against russia so they they're they're at least stocked the fuck up 
Isn't that wonderful, dude? Yo, Ukrainians got so fucked. I'm sorry, dude. Holy shit. Dude, I love I love war in 2022. They're just like straight up. They're I mean, I guess Coca-Cola kept making fucking uh Coca-Cola for Germany during Nazi Germany, or at least that's how Fanta was born, right? Capitalist corporations and, and businesses are gonna keep fucking doing business. Um, Ukraine's interior ministry has said there have already been hundreds of casualties. Oh, fuck. Interior Shit, dude. Ministry, an interior ministry official saying that across the country, as a result of these attacks, uh, there are hundreds of casualties. Now, we don't know how many of those people are dead, how many are injured, or whether that figure is accurate. But we do know that the interior ministry of Ukraine is putting the number of casualties so far in this nationwide assault missile assault we don't know yet we don't part. know yet it might not be as bad I mean, it might not alarmed. be as bad yet these are um, okay even if it's a uh, ukrainian interior ministry numbers don't know yet it might not be as bad i hope it's not as bad yes they already uh declared martial law civilian and combatants we don't know and there there we go uh oh heard. Uh, the first siren has just gone off what the fuck uh, bro that's the first the time they fucking put those out the entire night, the, the city was being second, bombed and shit. They didn't hearing, have the fucking uh, uh, air raid sirens. Uh, now Russia has closed airports in several southern cities, including the Rostov, the uh, Krasnodar, Sochi, Anapa, and Belgorod. First state media that would suggest airstrikes are on the way. What the fuck are they doing? What else do they need to blow up? There were reports of beach landings here in Mariupol. We're not seeing them. There were reports of beach landings in Odessa. Also, uh, not being reported by witnesses, not along the scale of, of, of anything like the uh, Russian state news agencies are just. Wait, so the Russian state news were beefing up actually what they were doing? The oh, damn, it's over, bro. As as I can from Boys, pack I'm it up. War is done. War is done. The United Nations uh, tweeted. It's good. All right, we're good. You know, GG's, this was a good run. Uh, the conflict is over. They said, President Putin, you know, please stop this now. It's done. It's, it's, uh, it was a good run, but it's done now. As you mentioned, oil over $100 a barrel, popping above $100 a barrel. This is significant because the White House, Western powers declined to sanction the energy sector. And there's a reason for oh, that. Because this what's the reason? Hit the gas sector, yep. This would hit oil prices. And you've got to remember oh, that. Oh, because the fucking prices, fat Americans have... need to fucking drive their gas guzzling fucking Ford pickup so trucks to Applebee's to get jalapeno poppers. And that's why, sorry, Ukrainians, get fucked is America's position. Yee yee, brother. I mean, and now I know everyone's going to say, well, uh, technically, gas prices are actually a strategic uh, commodity that we absolutely need to stabilize us on. You're so fucking stupid. But my point is, if you're going to fucking do that, then treat Russia as a fucking peer instead of being like, oh, we're going to slap you with a little baby sanction. And yeah, totally, Ukraine, you'll be able to get into NATO. We'll totally let you into NATO. Just kidding. Get fucked. That's exactly what happened uh, tonight. Yes, you're right. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm so upset right now. I did see the UN tweet. I should be a little bit more calm. Clearly it's over now because Antonio Guterres said the conflicts must stop now. I don't know why I'm freaking out like Aaron, thank you. We'll stay close to you. Aaron McLaughlin is in uh, Kiev where there are sirens. I want to go back to Ambassador Michael McFall. Oh, what are they doing? New... Like the country is literally lit up by Russia and they're posting fucking Hitler memes, dude. What is going on? Yo, I, I think, did we open up a fucking portal or something since the Hadron Collider? The fucking Hadron Collider, like, some shit happened, dude, okay? And and now we're just, I think something is wrong, dude, okay? This doesn't make any, like, what is going on? Dude, you're under fire. Like, you're getting your shit blown up by Russia, and you're just, like, posting fucking memes? What is happening? There are a lot of discussions about what the rest of the world can do uh, for Ukraine, but Ukraine is not a member of the world's biggest military alliance, and that is NATO. Uh, so at the moment, there are no discussions of NATO troops or U.S. troops going in. Yeah, no shit. There, uh, like, of course there's no discussion of NATO troops anymore, just like there wasn't before. There was just a fucking false bullshit fucking attempt. This is literally the reason. This is the reason why for Ukraine couldn't join NATO. This, this happening. The likelihood of this happening. It's so fucked up, dude. It's so insanely fucked up. We're just going to beef up the fucking nationalist battalions. We're going to give Ukraine guns. And we're going to be like, yeah, let God sort it out. Good. Uh, be with you, okay? May peace be with you. We'll give sanctions to fucking Russia. And, and now, here you go. You fend for yourself. It, it's so disastrously fucked. It is so deeply fucked up. So would you rather have World War Three? Just curious? No, of course not, dude. 
What the fuck are you saying? Two days ago, you said NATO imperialism and Canada, Mexico joining Russia. It is that is the same still. NATO is still an aggressive expansionist imperialist force. America saying that they're going to let fucking Ukraine join, we have an open door policy, is bullshit. Because they were never actually going to allow Ukraine to join NATO. Because if Russia invaded Ukraine as easily as it did just now, then it would be fucking World War III. Russia invading Ukraine like this is to show the rest of the world why Ukraine can't fucking join NATO. It is a buffer state. It is supposed to be a buffer state between fucking NATO. NATO isn't expansionary at all. You didn't win. Yeah, shut up. Tell that to the fucking uh, Libyan slave markets and Afghanistan and numerous other instances where NATO has been used as a fucking uh, offensive force. Shut the fuck up. We're not even having a conversation about NATO. Putin is still at fucking fault. He's the main, uh, he's the main party involved here. But if you have a real politique fucking uh, point of view, a real perspective on this, then you have one of two things that you could do in this situation. Either fucking be like full-blown war. We're declaring full-blown war against Russia. Uh, the entire world's going to go to war with a fucking nuclear power. Or you have to actually suck it up and take the L and meet the fucking demands, cave and meet the demands of this uh, superpower on the planet. It's a sovereign power, it's not the hegemonic, global hegemonic fucking power that the United States is. But that's, that's what happens when you fucking violate the unspoken rules of being like a major power, a major player on the planet. And as I said already, and as I said time and time again, the fucking victims in the situation are the Ukrainians. You could just take the L Ukraine. Wait, no, that's not what I'm saying. America has already delivered the L to Ukraine, okay? That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying America needs to fucking take the L. Hold on, we'll look at that in a second. Ukraine no is trying to fucking kick off Russia uh, from the Security Council? What? Bro, are they fucking insane? They're like dying. The bully is fucking choking them out on the playground and they're like literally fucking uh, one last like fuck you? Like, well, what do you mean? Here's the ambassador citing the part of the charter that deals with the admission of members during a speech at the UN Security Council earlier tonight. His demands for the document that shows the Russian Federation was welcomed by the body uh, by the UNSC and General Assembly. These documents don't exist, he noted, because the UN Legal Council made the call. Wait, what? I watched it live, but I didn't realize that they were, uh, I didn't realize it was also trying to fucking uh, challenge whether the Russian Federation is the legitimate successor or not. Can we assume denazification is code for purge anti-Russian dissidents? No, the entire country is anti-Russian dissidents. The Nazification is very specific. The reason why he mentioned it is because he's not signaling that to the rest of the world. He's saying that along with the propaganda that he has mentioned thus far uh, to ru the Russian citizens. In invading Ukraine is not a popular fucking uh, concept, okay? It's not a big W like Crimea was. It's not going to even be a fucking... Uh, there isn't that much of a nationalistic desire for even uh, Donbass to be secured. Uh, especially at a time when like it's not like Russians are doing great, okay? As a country. The reason why he's saying denazification is because he's signaling to his country, his countrymen, in order to get, get as much support as possible, that like he's gonna go and fucking kill uh, all of the uh, all of the Azov Battalion people. They're gonna go and kill like fucking uh, their supporters and uh, in in higher levels in uh, in in the Ukrainian government, that sort of thing. It's also a reference to Ukraine decom decommunization, North communization. North dude, Belarus, the, the Belarusian government, the Belarus government is such bitches, dude. They're like, like, what are you gonna do, bitch? What are you gonna do, bitch ass? Like, they're like, oh yeah, we'll come, we'll come with you, dude. We'll, come on, we'll invade with you. It's like little babies, dude. Okay, sick. Such cucks. Just absolutely fucking cucked. Belarus is a Russian ally, yes. Like a, it's like a fucking vassal state. Uh, hey, yo, Ukraine's military shot down a Russian aircraft. Ukraine. It's one of the motives for them. The a challenge for him if, uh, if the markets continue to react. Bro, this shit is still more powerful than the Lira. Are you fucking kidding me? Board what the fuck is this shit, markets, dude? Which would be about a 700 point drop on the Dow, but more importantly... Turkey's not invading Ukraine. Fix the Lira right now, America. Okay, Ukrainian military. Five enemy planes and a helicopter shot down. Okay. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Yo, people need to stop, dude. I feel like I'm watching George Floyd die again, only the country version. We all stand knowing this is wrong, but help us to stop it. What can we do now? Hashtag Ukraine is George Floyd. Dude, if Donald Trump abolished TikTok and then hit one off on fucking Twitter, I swear to God, greatest president of all time, okay? We're so this close to fucking ending TikTok. This close. The world must act immediately. Future of Europe and world is at stake to do list. Devastating sanctions on Russia now, including SWIFT. Fully isolate Russia by all means in all formats, weapons, equipment for Ukraine, financial assistance, humanitarian assistance. I mean, that's probably going to come, but 230, there are 230 motherfuckers from Ukraine watching right now while they're being invaded. What a wild time we're in.
I mean, yeah, good for them. Not even clear what the geostrategic advantage is here. It both vindicates NATO and whips up fear of Russian expansion into the Baltic Sea. Yeah, that is also the other part of this equation that is very interesting. Uh, and Q is correct. It literally does not make any fucking sense that that Russia did this. Uh, even the most like aggro fucking Marxist Leninists are going to, I mean, most aggro Marxist Leninists are going to say that's unacceptable. It's totally, totally irredeemable, indefensible. Not only is it all of that, but also it's indefensible, irredeemable, completely aggressive and psychotic, actually fucking falls into the memes that like Putin is a madman. Putin is a madman. It plays into Putin being a fucking uh, madman. And not only that, but it just doesn't like, there's no advantage to it. This level of posturing. I mean, this goes beyond posturing. This is just all out war. I want to hear what Russian propaganda is. Oh, Russian mission UN. Uh, Ukraine's propagations against Donbass not only failed to stop, but actually intensified. That's why DPR and LPR turned us requesting military support under bilateral agreements on cooperation that had been signed simultaneously with the recognition of Donetsk and Lugansk. Oh, okay. That's why you're bombing Western Ukraine. Got it. Makes total sense to me. Yeah, nothing to see here, dude. I'm always doing things like that. Just like when, you're, when your neighbor's dog shits on your front yard, you go and kill the entire block. You know, normal stuff. You just light the block up. Why are you dick riding America? First of all, I'm dick riding your mom. And by that, I mean, I'm not having sex with your mom's female penis. I'm saying like, I'm, your mom is dick riding me. It's late. I've been live for 11 hours. Secondly, holy fucking shit, dude. Can I, can I get like, can I catch a break? It's not black and white. These situations are not black and white. Everybody, every, every one of these dumbasses were like, oh my God, you're like fucking such a big fan of Putin. Uh, why do you, you just have an anti-America bias, you love Putin. Whenever I do any sort of fucking analysis that features anything beyond, like, Vladimir Putin's a big bad baddie uh, who's irresponsible and crazy and just wants to fucking melt the world on fire. But when he does actually end up behaving in a way that is consistent with, like, melting the world on fire, that does not have any sort of, like, immediate, immediate strategic, uh, uh, doesn't make immediate strategic comprehension, and I point that out, and you're like, wow. You must fucking love America. You're dick riding America. Seplo, a well-known Final Fantasy 14 Twitch streamer, is trying to get to the border of Poland right now. Jesus Christ, dude. Do not drive uh, to Zatomir on the M06. Russian aerosol will be taking crossroads. Go to south to Bilaterska, to Berdachev, to Vinitsia, to Kamenitsky. Fastest evac, go to Chernivtsi, crossing to Romania making me want to punch my russian co-worker tomorrow please help me with my growing hate what the fuck is wrong with you dude are you fucking stupid when america goes and like blows shit up in iraq or afghanistan is it your fault did you want that to happen i mean maybe but usually it's not your fucking fault your government especially in the case of russia like there's even less uh, uh russian people especially russian americans have less to do with what fucking vladimir putin uh decides to do than anyone else don't be fucking stupid dude Unless you're the Ukrainian ambassador, and that's who your co-worker is. Co-worker is the Russian ambassador. Then it kind of makes sense, to be honest. Violence is never okay, dude. <laughs> that's what people did to Muslims after 9-11? Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's fucking completely unacceptable and disgusting and has nothing to do with, like, Russian Americans. Ukrainian chatter wanted me to share with you. Packing my shit right now. Shit right now with you as the radio? What the fuck? That's crazy, man. Be safe, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, my Ukrainian chatter is Anthony Fantano. Oh my god, it's internet's busiest music nerd from Ukraine. From Ukraine. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the melon. What does the text say? I don't know how to read what the text is saying here. Dear marauders, please don't steal shit. Thank you. Yo, homie's got the masturbation paper towels. I mean, not the fucking... Be sure to pack your be sure to pack your fucking the, the jerk off napkins dude be safe man let's be honest if you thought you were about to get bombed you'd be jerking it right now dude i said that i already said that it does make me real sad though dude listen you're you're gonna be all right really though how is this even a war i mean dude th this is not like fucking america invading iraq okay it's not but it doesn't matter it's still a su complete psychopathic escalation Again, I have to repeat myself. Just because they're not, like, they're actually doing uh, targeted deployment, like, very actual precision strikes, uh, does not change the reality that it's still an invasion. And they have, uh, they've, they've, you know, they've deployed missiles, dude. What are you talking about? They blew up the fucking airport.
the sanctions will topple Putin, never mind that they haven't before, and the US will defend Kiev's model democracy. To hell with those citizens and affordable petrol. Confrontation, war with Russia is and will be very costly to the American people, beginning with increased inflation. Dude, Tulsi Gabbard, there is not a fucking like, there's not a situation in which Tulsi Gabbard doesn't find herself literally in the like worst position. Hey, notice how no one gives a fuck about people living in Ukraine though? That's because, once again, and I have to repeat myself, Ukraine is simply a pawn in this fucking uh, game of, of two fucking world powers warring with one another. One with waning influence over the global scale, a hegemonic power that is trying to desperately fling around as best as it can, and the other, Russia, uh, also in a nearly identical situation. Not waning power, uh, better off than it was before, but still nowhere near what it once was. New Azov meme just dropped. What is this, guys? You really need to be more discerning than this. Christ. Dude, I'm telling you. We came from someone I like and respect too. I get where the impulse comes from. Yo, listen. This is what I mean when I say like, this is what happens when you fucking, when you blow up a country. When a country is stuck between two imperial powers, they're going to become more, more reactionary. They're going to become more fucking, I don't know. It's going to be scary. Missile striking an airport. Okay, here, I'll watch. That's crazy. Well, you don't see that every day. Bro, people are just driving around. That's the craziest part. It's like, oh yeah, fucking casual, dude. It's just like incredibly casual. It's like, oh yeah, whatever, dude. Another day, you know. I think it's not necessarily that people can't comprehend the scale of what's going on, but it's more so that just like people are used to used to it living on the fucking border of Russia. It moving into other parts of the country. His shelling is like ongoing in the eastern side. Possible strategic goals for Russia securing water for Crimea that Ukraine cut off and destroying Ukrainian military ca uh, capability to protect their proxies in the short to medium term. Yeah, I guess that's one. Uh, but all of that could have been handled. Like, all of that could have been handled by... Even even after you put the fucking uh, boots inside of Donetsk and Luhansk, like, you could have easily fucking uh, forced uh, Western powers' hands into the negotiation table. Now it's like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Now it, it feels like... But for the record, they didn't actually end up... They might. They might. But they didn't actually end up fucking... You know, destroying, leveling Kiev, bombing the shit out of Kiev. They only went after strategic positions. There is a massive uh, land invasion. There is already in, in, uh, information of uh, troops uh, moving towards Odessa and Kharkiv, you know. And then he's also, there's another ominous, very ominous uh, tone he's uh, try to go in to actually arrest those people. So uh, anything is possible. You know, the situation is developing. You know, results. Why? They're, 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 you know, Why do we care about what fucking Eurasia Democracy Initiative guy has to say? They already figured out what the problem was. Years and years of fucking studying stuff like this. It's all like living through conflicts. You know what I mean? All of that. Just cast it aside, bro. Putin has transitioning Saturn opposing his natal Pluto all year. This can be very destructive aspect and trait. Can you look up Zelensky's chart and see if they're compatible? Brace. <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus christ putin's mercury is in gatorade okay that's like i know what it is for 1000 likes what the fuck's going on who was like this is good this is a good take oh my god this person has 89,000 followers stop